Well, greetings, and welcome to our first Artist of the Week. So Natalie Blake is going to kick off our Artist of the Week series, and um, she's a great one to start with. So we are going to be looking at her work and talking a little bit about her today. So I would love to tell you a little bit about Natalie. She started her work in 1994. Um, probably well before all of you were born, um, and won a prestigious award called the Thompson Watson Fellowship of Ceramics, um, which allowed her to do some traveling around the world. She traveled to Indonesia and Nepal. Then upon returning, she went to um, southern Vermont, back to southern Vermont, where she started creating a lot of her curved vessels and um, you know, like some of her hand carved tiles that we're going to really look at today. Um, and she definitely quickly gained exposure through all of these art shows that she was doing, like the Smithsonian craft show. Um, and now she has really um, a lot of years of experience. She's um, been at it for 25 years. So she definitely continues to make her vessels and um, create the new designs and styles on these vessels. So let's take a look at a few of her vessels um, and then we will check out her tiles as well. So um, once again, we are on her web page and um, this is a great place to check out her work. Um, and also just the work of artists. A lot of artists have these incredible web pages with um, beautiful images on them. So as you can see, she makes these really beautiful forms. Um, and then a lot of times she uses what is called the scraffito technique to carve into her pieces. So. Let's check out a few that are in stock. Um, so she is definitely is selling a lot of her work and um, you can definitely tell that she, um, you know, makes this her living. Each one of her pieces is going from anywhere from 125 to 425. Uh, so she makes these vessels, but along with her vessels, she also does very cool tiles. Um, so let's go back to check out a few of her tiles. These are so cool because they are insta installed into a lot of different places and we'll talk about that a little bit. So um, first though, let's talk a little bit about her style. So she um, uses this a texture design to really get into her style. Um, and uses, like we were talking about, the scraffito technique. Um, so you can see really see that in um, her tree of life here. So the scraffito technique that she's using is when you put slip on the top of a piece of um, clay and then you carve through. So scraffito literally meaning scratching through um, in Italian. So let's go ahead and check out a few more of her tiles and then we'll talk a little bit about where we can find her tiles too. Um, so you can see a little bit of the process of making these tiles. She's got quite a few people working for her now too in her studio but you can see like they use uh, the forms underneath here to give it a raised surface before they do the carving. Um, so yeah let's so let's go back up here and um, look at a little bit more of the installation portfolio because I think this is really cool to see that she has pieces in all different um, areas. So these are in um, healthcare facilities and um, her installations can be quite large as you can see and they're quite beautiful. Um, and so the, a lot of them are wall installations. But can, but you can definitely tell she's using that scraffito technique as well as like that raised surface there um, to show off of her um, scraffito technique. I hope you enjoyed getting to know Natalie Blake and her artwork a little bit better. And next we will be looking at how we can make our own tiles using the scraffito technique.